Okay, we are looking at uh, phosphorylation and how phosphorylation affects protein to protein interactions. So basically we have to remember and uh, know that phosphorylation results in a conformational change and this simple lock and key mechanism works because of phosphorylation which changes the shape. So uh, let's just focus um, on this slide on the SH2 uh, which is the um, the SRC homology dash two, also known as SH two domain. So here we're just simply noticing that the SH two domains have a conserved phosphotyrosine binding pocket, and thus bind specifically to peptide motifs that have been phosphorylated on tyrosine resi uh, residues. Basically, what that means is that. Uh, tyrosine needs phosphate, the phosphate group to fit um, that the conformational change uh, which results from the phosphorylation makes tyrosine uh, fit into the shape and uh, that this SH2 will only recognize this tyrosine and the phosphate group. So the tyrosine residue is phosphorylated and uh, so now that uh, it fits whereas another amino acid, for example, uh, serine, for example, would not fit. So remember that uh, this is what we're seeing in this, in this situation. We also see the same for the PTB domains, which also bind the tyrosine and phosphate containing motifs. So this, the interaction, the interaction domains can bind phospholipids which are embedded in the plasma membrane and then this recruits proteins to the membrane. So these are the, the take-home messages from this video. Remember that protein phosphorylation can drive the formation of specific multi-protein plex complexes and are capable of transmitting a downstream signal within the cell, but they need to, they need to be uh, 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 phosphorylated before uh, they can fit into the uh, into the binding pockets and just add one thing about tyrosine from Wikipedia it says that uh, tyrosine is one of the 22 amino acids that are used by cells to synthesize proteins and its codons are UAC and UAU it is a non-essential amino acid with a polar side group and the word tyrosine is from the Greek tyros which means cheese as it was first discovered in 1846 by German chemist Justus von Liebig uh, in the protein casein from cheese. Uh, it is called tyrosyl when referred to as a functional group or side chain.